Well, we had a nice weekend, and then, as Bob said, <laughs> rain came at night, so Perfect it wasn't timing. a big deal. Yeah, it worked out really quite nice, and it was happening mainly during the uh, Super Bowl, so people were indoors. If right. you were watching indoors, there was some, I'm sure, out in the patio wanting to enjoy that, but uh, it was a really nice weekend, and a great event, too, for the Bradenton Regatta. Uh, this taking place on the Manatee River. This one sent in from Mary Colwan. Uh, Saturday was perfect, wasn't it? It was nice out there, beautiful weather, and uh, that was a big success, according to the event organizers there. Appreciate that. I had a chance to get out Saturday night putting on the Ritz. This was the Opera Gala Ritz. Nancy Guth shot this, and uh, you can see some of the folks there. Melissa and Terrence Brzezinski on the left. Uh, Melissa there, by the way, works at Golfgate Elementary, and they say all of them watch the news, and we want to say hello to them. Uh, right there at Golfgate, Susan Bob Harrigan, of course, and Stacy and Matt Moldovan, and uh, they were great uh, guests there, and we had a great time enjoying great dresses, too, by the way. Uh, here's a look at the Eagles soaring. Yes, they won. They're happy. Uh, Eagles soar. This one from, again, Kathy getting the shot in the comas. How timely was that with all those uh, great shots around and all those Eagle fans celebrating a huge victory? Uh, at the Super Bowl. What a wonderful game, too. An amazing football game to end things up. Sarasota webcam showing a, kind of a cloudy day, low clouds, some fog hanging around, and then the sun coming out and really warming things up, causing for another great sunset tonight with that high cloudiness around. We've been blessed with these high clouds lately uh, associated with the jet stream kind of streaming overhead. The weather headlines read like this. Um, if you don't know it, we are going to see uh, more fog overnight. And then a warm work week ahead. Temperatures will stay above average. And there is a cold front, it looks like, heading down late Sunday. But uh, looking at the long-range models, I don't really see much to it in terms of uh, what we saw the past couple weekends. Well, the satellite and review showing that front is now down to our south. The main area of low pressure now well to the east of us. That's what brought us that uh, nice weather. And then uh, high pressure will continue to work its way and bring us that east to southeasterly wind flow over the upcoming days. We'll see some 80-degree temperatures, I believe, uh, especially inland areas like Wood Ranch, Arcadia, and into Wachula throughout the afternoons over the upcoming days. 74 right now, humidity at 55%. We have an east wind at 6, and the pressure 3015. That's way up there. That continues to rise. The high today was 77. This morning's low was 62. Some uh, temperatures around town. Parish at 73. Waterleaf, you're at 74. A little bit cooler as you get to the coast now. Cortez, 64. 67 in Longboat Key. The reason being, obviously, the water temperature now at 63 degrees. Uh, 73 at Golfgate. 74 now in Kensington Park. The Meadows at 74. Northport. You're at 73 degrees in Englewood at 71, Port Charlotte at 72. So temperature's pretty mild for this time of year. And we're looking for decent conditions tomorrow. Although that fog will be the biggest concern in the morning, we will see things warm up into the upper 70s by the afternoon. You get a picture. This area stays rather clear. This is that high-pressure ridge, which really isn't budging much. It's going to continue with that east to southeasterly wind flow. We'll see some fog occasionally every night. And then here comes the front. This front fades away before it reaches us, so no problem with it. It's the one late Sunday and Monday that we'll have to deal with, I think, and even that doesn't look all too bad. Uh, 17 in Buffalo, Montreal at 9, Toronto 16, Green Bay at 11, Minneapolis 13, 5 in Bismarck, and 9 in Rapid City, Omaha at 16, and 39 now in Oklahoma City. Uh, for boaters, things shape up like this tomorrow. We're looking for 10 knots to start things off, and then 5 knots later on. Seas running right around 2 feet with a light chop out there in the bays and the waters. Water temperature mentioned at 63. So here we go. Look at this. Upper 70s on Tuesday. Thursday, 79. As I mentioned, these days here, we're going to see some 80 degree temperatures, no doubt. Low temperatures also running well above average. And then a 20% chance for a shower on Saturday. That's mainly due to the warm temperatures around. And then late Sunday, there's a 30% chance for some showers, even into Monday morning at 30% with high temperatures. Still warming uh, well above seasonal averages. Back to you. Thank you so much, Bob.